We have just done a six day demo on our bungalow by the sea and now we're back in our apartment for a couple of days rest. Today I want to show you all of my design ideas, projects to come and the dream floor plan we're working towards. I have been very excited to make this video after what feels like a very long time in the making so let's get straight into it starting with our design plans for the exterior of our bungalow. For the front of the bungalow, we're planning on completely clearing the garden. So the only things that will be left are our two holly trees. And there's another tree that we don't know what it is yet, but that will be staying. We also want to add in different types of grasses just to emulate that coastal cottage vibe. The bungalow itself is completely covered in pebble dash, which we will be changing, of course. James has a love for vertical cladding and the use of black when it comes to like architectural features, whereas I really like the cottage aesthetic. We found this image, which perfectly combines both of those ideas. Obviously our bungalow isn't as tall as that, but we're still thinking of doing a overgrouted stone border. So it'll probably sit just underneath the windows. In terms of curb appeal, both James and I really like homes that look symmetrical. So what we're hoping to do is either respray both the front windows or completely change them so they match because at the moment the one on the left is a lot wider than the one on the right. The window on the right is actually going to be brought forward and extended so both windows will look symmetrical at the front. Our current porch area will be demolished at some point and in its place we really like this wooden version instead where it's got a little bit of shelter but there's like the wooden pillars. I really like that look and it also be really nice to decorate it at Christmas time because you've got to think about all those things as well. We also have a project planned where we want to do something like this, create this herringbone brick feature on the floor. We do have loads of bricks that we found in the kitchen and I wonder if we can like get them cut in half. I don't know how awkward or how expensive that would be, but it would be quite nice to use them as a permanent feature in the home so we're not getting rid of anything. Moving inside the bungalow now, and if you have been following along with this project so far, then this floor plan will become very familiar to you. So this is what we're working with so far. Currently a two bed, and we are planning on doing an extension, and in that extension there will be our kitchen. Part of the current living room will actually be turned into a nursery room, so we need to build a wall up. So when it comes to the extension, we'll actually gain that space back. So I guess this is sort of our next stage of where we want to get the bungalow at before there's any extension. So we will be knocking through our current bathroom and part of our current kitchen. That will all become our hallway. The current kitchen will then be turned into the main bathroom and the utility. Our dining room space will also be split up into our walk-in wardrobe and our ensuite. I'm gonna go through each room now and tell you all of my design plans and future projects for each of them. So starting with the hallway. So in the hallway, we will be adding a half wall cladded feature, very thin clad. I think there's a company called Nature Wall who provide these panels. There's a dark green that I really like, which was part of the collaboration with Lick and Soho Home. So I'm looking at that as the potential green for this project. On one of our walls, where all of our coats are going to be, that whole wall is going to be floor to ceiling covered in the same clad. And I'm hoping to build sort of like a secret built in storage for all of that. I also really like the idea of having a storage bench for shoes. I picked up this chaise lounge for free and I've been slowly trying to turn it into a shoe bench. What I'm planning on doing is finding, I think it's called kiln, like a vintage kiln rug or something similar just to cover the top. I imagine like there's a large leather pulley that I can just lift up and then there'll be all of our shoes just like all nice and organised. Moving on now to the guest bedroom, the first room that we're planning on finishing so we can actually sleep down there. And I've been really inspired by Soho Home, particularly this teal colour. I love how well it contrasts against this green and I quite like this pop of red, but this is where I really need your help. So I've got two different concepts at the moment. This is the first one where I was planning on going a little bit more colourful. I was going to have this Icat, I think that's how you say it, this Icat fabric on our vintage style headboard, brightly coloured red lampshades. It's a bit more poppy, a bit more characterful and fun. Or toning it down a little bit, making the teal the main focus of the room. Again, still having the Icat fabric 
but then when it comes to the, like the soft furnishings going a little bit more dark and moody and a bit more texture heavy so let me know down in the comments below which one you prefer i will also be creating a bay window seat bench from scratch don't know how to do it yet but i'm just gonna figure it out as i go and the color chosen for the rest of the bedroom scheme will also impact the color scheme for this bay window seat so your opinion really does matter <laughs> the vintage headboard which i bought on facebook marketplace for 25 pounds will also need to be reupholstered which i've never done before and i really like the ikat fabric that i've chosen it started the whole scheme for this room let me know what your thoughts are of it as well because it's quite different and I don't often see people use fabrics like that in their rooms. Going into the main bedroom now, what's going to be our room, we are planning on doing a dark feature wall where the headboard will be and then the rest of it will be quite light. Because we'll have our walk-in wardrobe, it'll be really nice to not have any wardrobes that we'll be facing when we're in bed. So instead, we're looking at doing a PS unit wall and then having the TV in the middle. So we'll have books, ornaments, and just decorative stuff surrounding our TV. This room is going to have a lot of sort of like contrasting masculine and feminine elements. I'm thinking the dark feature wall with a leather headboard. We've got a really nice headboard at the moment. I'm not sure if I want to paint it, there's like a leather paint effect that you can do or if I'll just splurge out and buy faux leather fabric and then re-upholster it myself and then the feminine elements will be in the soft furnishings so like the cushions, throws so it's gonna be a bit more woody there'll be like gold accents and plants and I also love the idea of having a bench at the end of the bed I don't know why I've just always loved the look of them and we can in that space so why not From the main bedroom, we'll be able to access the ensuite and walk-in wardrobe. The ensuite will have a his and her sink, preferably a vintage unit, and there'll be loads of black and gold accents everywhere. I think I mentioned this in the first video, but I have a dream of having a bath underneath the window. Of course, we'll have a big enough space for James's shower area as well, so it's all nice and accessible for him. But yeah, it'll be just our little sanctuary. I'm kind of thinking way ahead in the future here, but when we do have children and I want to just have my own little mummy space and time, then I can just hide myself in there with no interference. In terms of walking wardrobe space, on one side of the wall, there'll be all the wardrobes. And then on the other side, there'll just be a massive mirror. As long as it's enough space for James to take his wheelchair in, like that's, that's gonna be perfect for us. For the main bathroom, we're actually going a little bit more bold, a bit more of a statement. I've always loved this banana leaf print, which I'm sure you'll recognise. It's very famous. It's from the Beverly Hills Hotel. It's a bit expensive, so I'm not sure how I'm going to go about it yet. I might get a muralist to come in and sort of replicate the design. But I was thinking of that being above the tile, so it's like the first thing that you see and then for the tiling, you have these tiles called Kit Kat tiles. And there's a really nice sample that I found with white and speckles. And I'm thinking of just having it go all the way down. So it's very liney. For this space, I've actually done a lot of collecting of items for it. So I've already got this unit. It was £60. And the plan is to take the free, <laughs> the free sink that I found on FreeCycle, cut a hole into that unit and then have the sink sit on top of it. Because the sink was free, I felt like it justified quite a nice statement tap. So I found this French one on Etsy. And in terms of storage, I'm actually going to be moving my PS unit with the reeded glass into that space. And this is going to sit above the toilet and that will house all of the toilet rolls, all of the little like fancy bathroom bits. The access to the utility room will be from the kitchen and there will also be a door that you can access from outside. So when we do eventually have a dog and we've had like a beach day, we do not want to be trawling in a sandy, dirty dog or even like dirty shoes from us. So we thought we would have an access into the utility room there and then we would have a doggy sink to just clean any sand and dirt away. The utility room itself won't be that big, but it will just be the washing machine, the tumble dryer, a bit of worktop space, something very natural with the plywood, easy to clean, easy to maintain, some pegs to hang stuff off, like cleaning things. 
I'm very much a visual person, so I'm struggling at the moment to even visualise what it's going to be like. But I do know that with the help of one of James's friends, who's a carpenter, we want to create our own kitchen. So we're thinking something like this. I really like brown, and I know this is probably going to be quite a controversial colour scheme, but I really like the contrast between this chocolate brown mixed in with the white marble. The image on the left is actually from another YouTuber called Lone Fox. And I think it's absolutely stunning with the gold accents and he sort of warmed up with copper as well. I think we know roughly what size we want and you know the look of it but I think we need to sit down with someone and actually put like a CAD drawing together and then go from there. This is by far one of my favourite rooms that I've been designing and thinking about so yeah let's get into it we will be carrying on with the beige theme in this current living room although you can't really see it here but the walls are beige believe me <laughs> we're gonna go with this nordic moss sofa from sophology and behind it on one wall will be built-in bookcases i just think they look absolutely stunning i'm not sure on what color yet i don't know if i want to stain it brown or do some like funky statement color We'll be taking out that fireplace frame and instead adding overgrouted stone and it'll come away from the wall a little bit so there's like a little ledge that I can prop things on. Inside we're actually going to take out our gas fire and put in a log burner instead and then above all of the stone we'll have, I think they used to call it Artex, where they add texture to the wall. I really like that look. After the extension, that living room space is going to be quite long. So we'll have our living room, which is like the cozy nook where we watch films. And then we kind of like the idea of having either a seating area. And then within that, we've seen this pinball machine that we want. And I know James is dreaming of having a pool table. So maybe we could fit that in somewhere. And then, of course, we'll have our dining table. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you're excited for all of the projects and the design plans. Obviously, all of them could change as we go through this process. We're still in the demo stage. So at the moment, it's just coming up with ideas and just getting very excited. So in the next video, we've got James's family coming down to help us knock down the front garden. We'll be starting the clearing process. And I've been so excited, almost fantasizing about knocking down that horrible half wall. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be a very satisfying video, I feel like. If you wanna come along with that, then I shall see you there. And until then, have a great day. Bye guys.